All right, thank you, Jeff. You know, this week we learned the trial for Andrew Lester, the man accused of shooting teenager Ralph Yarl in the head, has been suspended pending a mental health evaluation. A hearing is set for October 8th to check on the status of that exam. But as we've seen with another high profile local case, there's no guarantee that exam will be done by then. And even if it is, the issue of competency isn't always as cut and dry as it might seem. Take, for example, the case of Frederick Scott, the man accused of shooting and killing six strangers, five of them along the Indian Creek Trail. He was arrested roughly seven years ago and still hasn't gone to trial, primarily due to questions about his mental competency. In fact, in July, a judge suspended the case, committing Scott to the Missouri Department of Mental Health. But a month later, Scott still hadn't been evaluated, nor had he been moved to a state mental health hospital. I reached out to the National Alliance on Mental Illness, an organization that advocates for changes to treating mental health within the criminal justice system. While their director couldn't comment on this specific case, she wasn't surprised to hear about someone waiting that long. Absolutely not. We hear these stories all the time, uh, and, and we hear from advocates that there are people that, you know, can't get into hospital-based care, um, have some very serious um, mental health conditions, and aren't getting the care that they need inside the facilities. And she says that's because jails and prisons weren't built to be mental mental health facilities. They're set up as a means for punishment, as a means for more of a controlled setting, as opposed to a hospital uh, that might treat psychiatric conditions, and which is set up to be much more therapeutic. The problem is, at least right now in Missouri, the bed space at state mental health facilities simply isn't there. The Department of Mental Health in Missouri currently has 353 people all waiting admission to Division of Behavioral Health Hospitals and Competency Restoration Services per court orders. The average wait time they face, 12 months. A representative for that department tells me staffing is also a problem, pointing to high turnover rates. Bottom line, experts tell me if people in custody don't get the care they need to manage mental health conditions, this can delay trials, leaving victims and their families waiting for justice and a sense of closure. On top of that, because there's such a backlog of people in the Department of Corrections awaiting beds in mental health facilities, that also means fewer spots if you or a loved one needs inpatient mental health services.